Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with an episode of Crash Your Trash. I haven't done one of these in 11 months. I believe that this will be episode uh, episode 19, maybe 20, not absolutely sure, but I thought I would go ahead and um, do a little bit of Crash Your Trash kind of interspersed throughout the months because I really enjoy it. I've got tons of packaging, tons of uh, junk mail envelopes and things like that that I never use. So I thought, well, we're going to give it a go. So this is the prototype I made and I just basically took an envelope, I cut it just above the top of the window and I just created a pocket. So this will just get glued down in the journal and I just put a little um, tag there and then this little girl peeks out of the pocket. So super, super cool. Put a little bit of paper on the inside so that when she's out of there, it doesn't look weird. And then um, I went ahead and did a little bit of a cluster over here, just decorative. We do need to put a word or something on here. I'll find one. I pulled, I pulled my little thing of um, things. Let me show you this really quick, guys. So these little, um, these little drawers measure, um, I know, squirrel, right? Th uh, three and a quarter inches by two inches and I got them on Amazon and they come with um, it's a unit that has um, three six it has nine in each unit and there's six units in every in every package so that's six times nine is 54 of these little drawers that are perfect for small ephemera, perfect for quotes and things like this. My granddaughter helped me sort through a bunch of my quotes and words um, on, during Christmas break. And I have, I bought a lot of these. I think I have, let's see, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 12 altogether. So 12 units times six drawers. So what is that? 12 times six is 84. Is that right? I think so. Uh, don't quote me. <laughs> Don't test me. Um, and so a lot of them are empty right now, but I'm going to be going through uh, a lot of my uh, stuff. I've just got piles of, not piles, but like I've got things that need to be sorted. Um, and I can start cutting things out because I'll actually have a place to put them. So say all that to say I need to put a quote on here. So let's find one while we're, oh, snow kissed. That sounds perfect for this little sweet little girl. So let's go ahead and put her on. Awesome. So we're going to be doing a couple of variations. So this one is a pocket. We're also going to be doing a cluster and an over the page paper clip. So it's not going to be like a hidden paper clip. I'm just going to put it over the page and then, whoa, and then goodness gracious. <laughs> and then just um, paper clip it with a, a rusty paper clip. So where would we like you to go? I think like right there, a little bit over that window. I like to hold it up so I can see if I'm getting it straight. That looks really, really good. So sweet little project, and I love the crinkly sound. It's so wonderful. So that is the one I did. That's the prototype I did off camera. I'll probably be doing more because I need to have a prototype for every thing that I make. So I didn't get that back in there. We'll just stick it over there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what the envelope looked like first before I started cutting. So that one I would have cut it um, about right here. Um, this was, looks like a little, might be a little bit taller, I'm not sure. Um, just because I don't like to get too close to the window because then it weakens everything. So that's just a, an example of the envelopes that I use. So the first one that we've got here is a cluster and then the second one is the over the page um, the over the page thing. So I'm going to set that one aside and we're going to start with the cluster one. And I'm not sure why I'm calling it a cluster because it's really, um, it's still going to be a pocket. So it's very similar to that, but I'm calling it a cluster because I built up this little thing. So I took a little image. I shrunk this image. This is from the fairy, uh, it's Kleeblot Creations and it's her snow fairy kit. And um, so I, I think I printed them four to a page. So I got this little teeny tiny image 
and I just did some rough hand stitching around it looks terrible but it's fun so and then I just took a button and put it on this is a an antique button from Vanessa this was in uh, one of the um, packages that I got so I had it on another one I cut it off so hopefully that's not going to show through but that's what we're going to do so originally I was going to build a cluster, as was my point, but I didn't bu really build a cluster. I just made that little little thing. So whatever you want to call them is fine. So this is the card that's going to go in this pocket, um, but I do need to reach for my whale tail tabs. Pardon me a second. Um, I don't remember. I thought I had them out on my desk, but I've got some here, so maybe these ones will do. <coughs> so again, another little drawer for whale tail tabs. I just finished working on the winter one of the winter journals, so I probably put it over there. So um, what I like to do though is line this because I don't want to see any of that blue paper. And so you just have to be able to get your paper in here. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to find something that I'd like to go. Oh, I didn't get a thick paper. I need, um, no, I want a thin paper. Goodness gracious. Um, so let me cut this down a little bit. This is my second video today, so I'm a little bit, I think I'm a little wired for some reason. Just try to capitalize on the weekend. It's Sunday and I am go back to work tomorrow with my injured behind. <laughs> Let's provide some context for that comment. I uh, fell at school, so I am a little bit on the sore side. Well, I'm a lot on the sore side, to be honest. So I just want to, I don't care about all the rest of it. Well, yeah, I don't care about all the rest of it. I just like the back covered. Um, so I'm gonna stick this in here so those flowers show. And I'm just gonna butt it up right there. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and just cut right around it just like that, easy peasy. And then we're going to collage around the window, which I actually found to be very relaxing. So I'm going to be making more of these, I promise. I might even do more and show them at the end of the video in the photos, just so you guys can see. So I don't need to, I just want to ink the top edge because that will show, but otherwise nothing else is going to. So I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac because it gives me time to get this wiggled in there. We do have a, a four day weekend coming this following weekend. I'm super excited. Taking boys again to the water park for another grandson birthday adventure. And he's taking one of his cousins again. Oh my goodness, that did not move correctly. Come on, scooch down. Okay, well, we'll just trim it off. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, let me just trim that off. It's not gonna show. This is going to just be a cluster. Probably what I'll do is um, I'll make it a I'll make it have be have a, a space to stick something behind it as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this over to my trimmer and just trim that whole edge because it's a little bit a little bit wonky. Yeah, that did it. Okay, ink that up. Let's just go ahead and ink this up. So the idea of crash your trash is to crash your trash. So I, in my um, January video, my beloved beauty monthly, my very first episode, I talked about how I couldn't quite raise the bar high enough to say I'm going to use trash on my trash, <laughs> but I am using recycled material for my bases because I have so much. So, oh, we don't want that glued shut yet. There we go. So now we can glue it shut because everything is in there. I'm gonna use my Barely Arts. So this is going to be the tag that's gonna go in the back or in, the, I'll probably do it as a tuck actually Nope, this is going to be a tag behind. 
find it or tag. It doesn't really matter. We'll deal with the ephemera piece in a little bit, um, but I do want to go ahead and um, do the collaging around this window. So I'm gonna reach and grab my tear ruler. I forgot to do that before I sat down. And we're gonna do some rough tearing. I really love that look, especially when collaging, so. And what I like to do is I just kind of get my my page up here. Well, let me get this side ripped off first because we can't do anything with that with that on it. So let me get the white taken off of the edges here. I'm using um, the digitals printed on 20 pound paper. Um, yes, I did have to print some to do this, but that's okay. I don't generally print on 20 pound paper, but it is great for collage. So let me get this bottom dark piece off because I don't really want that to be there. Okay. So what I like to do is, oh, I would love to get a little bit of that girl in there. Wouldn't that be epic? Shall we try it? Let's see if we can get that on the side. It's going to cut her down, but, you know, she can handle it. I, I'm feeling good about it just do that okay and then when I start getting closer to my goal then I'll go like this and um, and rough tear it or tear it with my terry ruler right while it's on this um, this envelope so and I don't mind if it goes over a little bit it's all good I'm gonna tear all the way down Okay, and I'm loving that. I'm feeling like I want that a white taken off the top. We can layer over something from the other edge to cover up what this isn't gonna cover. So then I like to just ink up those edges and make them nice and grungy. So I'd be curious to hear, what do you guys do with your trash? Like, How do you manage that? Um, it can get so out of hand so fast. Um, I always think I'm doing a good job and then I'm not. So huh, I'm going to use my Barely Arts just because I want to be able to control how much glue I'm going to get down in this area. So she's going to take up this whole, this whole edge. I am going to go on to the window a little bit because we are going to go over that, that edge. So... And then we're just gonna stick her down. Probably gonna rip some off the top here, just so I can get her, her all the way. And I think we might be too hanging over the edge, but that's okay, because it's going to be um, glued down on three sides, two sides to make a pocket. Okay, so let's go ahead and tear that off. And I wanna keep with the rough tear, because I love that look. I always like to tear from this side. So there is a Crash Your Trash playlist if anybody is interested. Um, like I said, I think that was, I think there's 19 videos or there's 18 and this is 19. I didn't make a good enough note, <laughs> unfortunately. There we go, we lost it. It's just the tip of her head, but isn't that amazing? And so now we're going to, I don't want to get too much of that flowers because I don't want to be redundant in this, um, in this area so I've got another oh that's the only sheet is that the only sheet I have is just one what this one would work though yeah and that's plain so that might work I really don't want that the rest of her that's kind of showing through there so I'm gonna go ahead and take that edge of her off we don't have to think about that whoops that's okay. So I'm going to go a little bit more piecemealed here because I like to have it be, um, have it be kind of scrapbooky-ish, like you've you've collaged it together because that's what we're doing. And I need to turn this this way.
I think I want that to be at the top, so I'm going to go right there, okay? Actually, I'm going to come down just a bit, okay? Again, uh, art, barely arts just because I can control the flow. Fabri-Tac is a little bit harder, comes out faster. Fabri-Tac is great if you want a time to move something, though. There we go. I'm just going to place that on there. hope you guys can't hear my tummy. Just ate dinner, and I don't think my dummy is going to like it. Had these, like, I guess you kind of like call them like a street taco. Um, my husband wanted me to try making them, so he found the recipe, and I'm like, sure, I'll give it a try. But my tummy doesn't like cheese, and it doesn't like fat, which there wasn't really. There was black beans, onions, and olive oil, and cheese, so I don't know. Jury's out. <laughs> Jury's out on that. I need to press that all down, though. That was not good. There we go. Okay. And I love it. I don't... I think I'm going to have to trim this edge out. Look at how much I have hanging over. So I am going to just cut it because if I tear it, it's going to be a problem. So I just won't have, we'll have a more even edge there, which is okay. I think I did that on my prototype too. Okay. And then I, again, I do want it to be a little bit uh, rough and irregular, so I want to make sure I get some other pieces in here that it's not going to work because it's too small. So I, here I am with the flowers, so I don't really, I suppose I could go with that. I don't have to go all the way over though because I've got my girl there and her feet, so I'm going to stop confusing my rulers, and I'm just going to give that a tear right there. Okay, link that up. I just like the quilted the quilted look of doing this, so that's why I'm not really I'm not really too concerned about anything. And I'm gonna actually bring it over like that. So there we go. I'm not going to go as all the way to the corner because I don't remember now already how far that went, but we can put more glue underneath if we need to. So I'm just going to kind of pop that right there. Love it. I do need a little bit of glue there. Just a smidge. There we go. Let's go ahead and this one. I could have tore that other edge, but I wasn't really thinking very clearly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that edge. I don't even mind that it's, it's like irregular there. It's very cool. I think anyway. Okay. Well, is it too much though? I'm going to trim just that side a little bit. So it's not quite so obnoxious. There we go. So we just need one more piece at the top. So I really don't want the flowers because I don't wanna, we already got enough flowers there. So let me see if I can get a piece of this edge. So I need to trim that, I need to get a rough tear on this side. Okay. And I can kind of estimate, it's not very wide there. And just get a piece okay, like that. I like that white there, so I think that will be really pretty compliment coming down. So we're going to go with that. I realize I was, I not, wasn't even looking at the monitor guys. I hope I didn't completely go off the screen. This needs to be rougher. Like so. Mm -hmm. We can go up a little bit because um, I can always rough tear that because I don't want to lose too much of our window, but I'm going to get my ruler in here and just tear off 
right there. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Again, I guess I could be putting it on the paper and I wouldn't have to be guessing about where to put the glue, but didn't think of that. I like that. I'm not going to be able to cut uh, tear that though because it's too small, so I'm just going to have to trim it off. Not a problem. Mm, I love that. I love that a lot. Okay, so now we've got our journal card, which is going to slide in here. If we didn't glue it closed. <laughs> there we go. So that's going to slide in there and actually fill that window. I love that. Oh my goodness. We're going to put a whale tail tab on the top of this. So let me ink this up really quick. And again, the kits that I'm using today are from Kleeblot Creations, and it is her... Uh, winter, uh, what was it called? Um, I have it right here because I just did a video using these. So it is called Snow Fairy Tale. So all these images are from Snow Fairy Tale. So I'm going to look and see in here if I've got a good whale tail punch that would, or whale tail tab that would go with this. I think this would be really pretty right here. So I like to just take a bunch of my scraps and just when I'm listening to a podcast or a book or watching a YouTube video here in the studio, I can just start die cutting using my uh, machine and get my stash built up. So there we go. It's white on the inside, so I like to ink that as well in case it ends up showing at all. It's really, really beautiful on this um, particular um, image. So. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac just in case I need to move this around a little bit. Perfect. Perfecto. Now, if you cared about seeing the blue, so you're, you, oh, that's not even glued down. Let me get a little bit of glue in there. Um, so if you were to peek in here, the back side is covered, but the front is not. So you can see that security paper. Um, I don't mind that. Uh, surprisingly, I don't mind it. So we're going to leave it and be okay. So I'm going to let that dry, and then we're going to put an eyelet in there as well. And we're going to go ahead and stick that in there just so we can kind of enjoy the view. I'm sliding it way over here to the left. And then just so the whale tail tab it's, itself is, is mainly sticking out. It's a little bit tall. So I'm just gonna just gonna skim just a hair's breadth off the bottom. That much. That much. And I just want to stick that in there so I can keep looking at it. Now this is gonna kind of make our cluster a little bit uh, weird because it's supposed to be um, the kind of the focal point, but I'm loving that. I think that this is going to be really beautiful over here on this corner. Or should we put it up there? Nope, down here. So I do want to get a little bit of lace. So I pulled my bucket over so I could see if I can scrounge for the last bit of this right here. It's the last of it. It's so sad. I said that in the last video too. <laughs> it's this is uh, some um, lace that was on a like a piece of um, table linen or something, and I coffee dyed it, and I absolutely love it. So I'm feeling like I want that to kind of go like that in the corner. So let's do it. So I'm just going to glue that whole corner. Okay. I can always get more in there if I need to. And how did I have that? Like that. So it's kind of like a little corner embellishment. Perfect. Oh, that's so beautiful. And then this little girl is going to go on top of it. I love this stitching. I think it was a fantastic idea. It would be fun to take a bunch of stuff into the living room when I'm watching TV 
and, um, and do a bunch of little bits of ephemera like this. But I love that, look at that. That is amazing. So much beauty all in one place. Isn't that cool? But I don't know if this is gonna to be too much down here at the bottom, because the original idea was, I actually think this needs to go up here. The idea was it would go with this. But what do you think? Actually, we could put it down here and put our word up there. It's a perfect space for a word. So let me, I think I need to clip that little, that little fella off, a little bit wiggly. And maybe just put this right here. Yeah, I feel like it's more fitting here. So let's do it. This creates a little bit of a bulk when you, when you introduce a button but um, I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna set it right there and just give that a good press. Okay. It's gonna have to set a bit. So let's find something that would go with this. The silent snow, I love that. It's a little bit long for that space. Uh-oh, I'm moving that because it's, it's on my fingers. <laughs> I can check this later too and make sure it actually I can tell that it's not going to hold. Let me put the glue directly on that paper. There we go. And I'm going to move my hands so I don't mess it up. There we go. So I think that one's a little bit too big. A winter daydream is that that's also long. Winter daydream. Or I could just do winter daydream. No, it's still too long. Welcome winter. Powdery. Diamond dust. Yes. Diamond dust. Awesome. Okay. I wonder if we can put a little piece of that lace up here because it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. And I'm going to cry. No, I'm not going to cry. I'm just going to whine about it. Just means I need to go find some more. Okay, that's a little bit long. So let me get a chunk of that off the end, this end. Okay, I'm just going to put some fabric tack here. Didn't even plan that. A word would go there, but it's perfect. Oh, that's so beautiful. All using a junk mail envelope. Phenomenal. I'm gonna be, be really playing around with those envelopes and see what I can come up with. Diamond dust. Sweet. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and put an eyelet in this really quick. I didn't grab my, my little eyelet setter here. So we're gonna go with the little little hole because I got a little tab here, and that means I'm gonna have to stand up and go get my seam binding because it's also in the basket that I already stashed away because I thought I was done for the night and I turned the camera back on, which is perfectly fine. So let's get that in there. Actually, I might have a piece right here. Maybe we'll just use that. That was in the scrap bin. I'm not sure if that goes. I think it needs blue, just for some reason. I feel like blue is calling my name. So let me get that really quick. I have this little um, stylus tool or whatever you call it, but it works perfectly for this. Because it doesn't try to pierce the seam binding, it just pushes it through. Okay, and I have to put this between my legs because otherwise I can't tie it. <laughs> Tried it in the other video and it was pretty laughable. So, give me just a second. Mm-hmm. So very pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. 
There she goes. And then, yeah, she's, oh, that's so beautiful. I hope you don't think I'm fawning over myself. I'm not, I'm fawning over the images because they're amazing. So I wonder if we should just stick this in behind it just for the kicks and uh, and not really do anything much with it because it's already got some some beautiful frou-frou-ness coming out the top. And then we'll do our second one, which is going to be the over the pocket, over the page kind of paperclip dealio. So I'm thinking this will fit in here. Will it? Will it? It's stuck on there. There we go. Should fit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's... Oh, it's very tall, though. Oh, it's very, very tall. Oh, no, it's not. That's perfect. Probably bumping into some glue. So that... I like that look. I'm going to take that out just in case I've got wet glue messing around in there. So I'm going to set that over there. And let's do the second one. So I'm just going to plop these back in there and just show you the next one. Uh-oh, I just dropped something important. <laughs> I heard the clunk. So on this one, I took a button and I put it on this little piece of, of lace. I think that will be pretty. I've got a tab. See how, how ready I was on this one? And this one I was gonna go, this is a die and it has little holes all the way around, and I thought maybe I could get my needle in there, but I couldn't. They were too small, so I just did some little X stitches there. Make that look a little interesting. So what do we have? What do we have? This is the over the pocket paper clip. Okay, so we can set that stuff over there. And we're going to go ahead and cover this whole thing. And we have to reserve a piece to go in the middle or to cover this window. So do I have anything left from that other sheet? It does not look like it. So we will have to, I might have to grab another one, but that's okay. Um, I think this would be really pretty to collage around the window to use these edges. I think would be gorgeous. In fact, let's go ahead and tear that down and get um, as much of that as we need and leave the tree intact. I kind of opened this one all the way up and you just want to, since it's going to go over the page, I want to make sure I keep this directionally correct. So we're going to have that go in there. So now we need to decide how tall we need it to be. We don't want it to be too tight in there and cause a problem. So I'm gonna cut it kind of short here. There will be more exciting Crash Your Trash. I just didn't have the bandwidth to plan anything more advanced um, uh, in my current my current world so I'm just gonna plop that right there I just want to make sure it's gonna go below the window and then it's gonna close okay so that's perfect perfecto closes yes yes let's just trim that a little bit of excess off and the papers I'm using uh, here for this one is from Kleeblot Creations as well, and this is from the Silent Christmas uh, kit. So that is a can be a pocket. So we don't want to glue that shut, but I am gonna glue this right here. So I'm gonna put a bead of glue. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, so you know what I'm talking about where that that's folded. So. I want to just put a bead of glue um, right here just to close that up. That looks pretty good. We'll work on that piece that's gonna go in there in a minute. So the other thing that we need to do is we need to back the back part here. 
So, um, and that need this all needs to be glued shut. Goodness gracious, let's just glue it shut. I don't need to get glue all the way in there. I just want to make sure it's it's sealed around the edges mostly. So, because we're not going to do anything with that. We probably could, but I don't want to today. Okay, so there we go. So we need to cover this back. So I'm going to need to use this. Uh, I believe this image here or part of it. So let's just do it. I'm going to tear a little bit off the bottom just so that I can have more of that floral stuff showing rather than the blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this back over here. We're going to lose a bunch of stuff here, but that's okay. So I'm just actually going to keep that folded so that I can see where I'm going here. So I'm going to ink around the edges that I know are going to be remaining. Just like that. And because, so there's holes here. Um, I don't, I'm not, that's not a problem because I'm not putting anything in here now. If you were going to retain this as a pocket, you'd want to make sure that you didn't get glue in the, that part. So, just in case you're curious what I'm thinking. But we're not doing that, so I'm just going to get let the glue get in there. It's just going to make that glue shut better. Not that it's going to go anywhere, but it's the principle of the thing. I'm going to place this on here. Bring it down a little bit. And any white that's showing will be beautifully covered up with ink. So there we go. Just going to give that a press. And then I can fold it again and I can cut, cut the excess or tear the excess off right here. Perfect. Easy peasy ink that and I'm just going to ink kind of the back edges as well because they're a little bit a little bit scruffy but I don't mind that I think it's a great look okay that's a little rough up there but that's okay so there we go so that is done so now we need to just collage this around this window which is going to be easy because there's just very little there's very little here but I really really think I want to use some of this paper so I'm going to just get rid of the, the white edges. We'll just go with this. Even if some of that envelope shows, we'll just ink it up and make it look grungy good. So that is okay with me. I'm going to go all the way to the top. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. If I overlap um, on the next piece, that will be fine. So we're just going to stick this in here, on here, right there. Oh, I actually love that. I want that to go over. So I, I do not want to see the white around the window, though, because I cannot ink that. I'm stuck with that. So that is lovely. I am happy with that. So let's just ink this up so I can show you what I mean. That that grungy leftover paper look is just is part of the part of the beauty of it. You know what I just realized? We need to cover the back of this too. So I'll probably do that off camera so I do not have another piece, but you definitely want to cover this paper as well. Goodness, that was silliness. Okay.
Okay, we probably have enough to do two here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this glued on though so that I do not tear it short or tear it too narrow because I've done that several times. <laughs> oh my goodness. So much for having so much planned on this project to save time because I'm not really saving time. <laughs> Loving how this is turning out, you guys. We just have one more piece. That was very piecemeal, but I love how it looks. Um, sometimes those are happy accidents and we just need to embrace them. I was a little bit of an eager beaver trying to tear that paper down and I ended up I ended up in a crunch because I didn't have enough paper left. So <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna just try to use this bit. I wanna retain some of that red because I like that. I'm gonna finish this up. very scruffy looking but I think it's got a good look got a little bit of a marring on that window but that's okay it's um went through the mail right it's gonna be imperfect just going to tear that off okay that was a little rough okay what do you think the star got misplaced but it's trying to get back to the top of the tree <laughs> Oh my goodness, Kara Renee. Okay, so for this, because we're running really long here, I'm gonna go ahead and make the journal card that's gonna go in the side, similar to the other one where I'm just gonna put a whale tail tab on the side of it and we're gonna call it good. So let's just embellish the edges here um, of the window part. So I have this tree, which is kind of redundant, I realize now, but um, it's what we have and it's what I chose, so. I'm feeling like I want it over here and maybe off. Oh, that's the pocket side though, so it needs to go over here so it does not get in the way. Now it's going to be um, an over the over the um, over the page paper clip, so it can go like that. Okay, <clears throat> so it can hang over. I guess is my point. So I'm gonna. Put that in place and then I'm going to turn it over, make some pencil marks for my glue lines, which is right here. And right here is not glue. There we go. <laughs> So there's our little tree there. That is so cool. And then we've got this button. And so you'll also be able to see um, in the photos at the end, I'll cover the back of this. And I will also um, do um, a rusty paper clip and some seam binding coming out of the top of it, um, which you can see in the photos at the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>